October 5th, 2009, Sam, Limited and Unique Items. You've been telling us for a while now that you wanted to be able to collect certain items that you purchased from Roblox and to sell them to other users. Today, I bring you limited and unique hats, heads, faces, and gear. Now before I go any further here, let me reread that last sentence. Today, I bring you limited and unique hats, heads, faces, and gear. Heads. Now, to this day, 10 years later, there has never been a limited Roblox head. Not the headless head, not the cube head, not the spear head. There is no such thing as a limited head. So Roblox was still lying to us 10 years ago. But that's besides the point. So right here, we have a test of limited items. This is from a Roblox test site in 2009. And you can see some interesting stuff here. For example, a yellow box of mystery. Now, this item has never existed on the real website, but it's pretty interesting wondering what could have been in this box. Maybe if you smash a like button, this box could open up for new possibilities in the future. Right here, we have a good old Santa hat. Let's see how much all these items are worth or what they look like on real Roblox. So the Santa hat on real Roblox is about 1400 Robux, while on fake Roblox, it was 37 Robux and we don't know how much it's selling for. The Helm of the Great Tree was sold for 75 Robux with 50 stock, but on real Roblox, people are trying to sell it for 200,000 Robux. So this is quite the rare item indeed, but it's not as rare as they say it is on this screenshot right here. We have the Ice Skull of Nevermore, which claims there's 15 people who own it, but on real Roblox, there's much more people that own it, hence it's 5,000 Robux price tag. This item right here isn't even limited on the real Roblox. See, on this fake Roblox site, this was 25 Robux, but this is just a 3,000 Robux hat you can buy whenever you feel like buying it. Another interesting thing about this screenshot, this visor right here is the 2008 Roblox visor, which is definitely not limited in the real Roblox. This isn't called, look upon my words ye mighty. The cake hat is not a limited on Roblox. This, I don't even think this is a hat. I could be wrong though. This is a limited. This never existed, very interesting. This, I think this exists under a different title, and so does this. This is not a limited. Wenwood Crown is a rare limited on real Roblox indeed. And I don't even know if this is a limited or not. But it's really cool to see what items they chose to test this limited feature they were working on back then. But let's see how they describe these. Limited items are those which were once sold by Roblox and will not be sold again. Users who own these items can resell them to other users for the price of their choice. As you can see, there's a 2008 Roblox visor, and someone's trying to get 25,000 Robux out of it. What the heck? Yeah, good luck with that, bro. Another cool thing is back then, you could delete items from your inventory. So you see this one that says delete from my stuff? You could literally delete this limited from existence. So there'd be one less owner, and you wouldn't even be banned forever. No, the limited would just be completely gone. They removed this feature pretty quick, and I'll make a video about things they did to safeguard the economy in the future. Limited unique items are sold by Roblox until they run out. We could release, say, 100 of a certain hat. When you buy these, they are stamped with a serial number that shows which one you got. Once these items run out, they can, be also, they can also be sold to other users. To get started, go to the catalog. Who knows? You might have a valuable item stashed away in your inventory. Smiley face. Roblox Sam. It's pretty cool seeing what Roblox's outfit was back then, too. Kind of strange, a guitar and a Rozzy. The next day, Shedletsky makes a post about our first limited edition items, October 6th, 2009. As most of you know by now, Roblox is selling special limited edition items. Once these items sell out, you'll have to buy them from a private seller. Here's the latest from the catalog. A green bow tie, a hollow reaper, a spiky biker, and a raptor skull. None of these items are that famous nowadays, but nonetheless, they exist. But what was the first limited, you may ask? Well, in fact, it is the green bow tie. And how do I know this? Well, first of all, it says, our very first limited edition item. These are a part of Roblox history. The green bow tie is also the rarest of the three bow ties with only 100 sold. As you can see, green bow tie. And in the description, the first limited edition item ever own a piece of history. So finding the answer to this first limited question wasn't quite as hard as finding the answer to the first hats because it just straight up says it's the first. So, I mean, that makes sense. 
People are trying to sell it for half a million Robux, but nobody's actually going to pay this much for a green bow tie. But overall, it's pretty interesting they chose to make a series of bow ties the first summit is, and the other ones are pretty cheap, because they're more common than this one right here. On the same day, they also released the beautiful hair for beautiful people, the original, and the one I happened to forget in my top 10 beautiful hairs video, but it just came out back in 2009 when they released limiteds. And of course, in addition to these great new items, there are now over 20 old items that have been made limited edition, so if your dream hat was off sale, it may now be available from a private seller. If you have more questions about limited edition and unique items, you could check out our new forum dedicated exclusively to hat selling activity. Let's make a deal. Now, this is back when Roblox still had forums, and this is back when Let's Make a Deal was actually for making a deal. Little did we know, later on, people would use it as for many other reasons that I'm not going to speak about today. And talk about the new items here, that also happens to be another forum link. Now here's where the confusion begins with me. It says, Bright Eyes. But if I go to the top, it says by Shedletsky. So who wrote this? Bright Eyes? Or Shedletsky? Hmm. This is a tough one. I'm not sure what the case is here. But now that we know the first limited items, let's see what I can do with these first limiteds with the first limited. So right here, we have the green bow tie. So here I am in catalog heaven. Now, I remember I made a video called Spending 1 Billion Robux, and everyone in the comment section was very quick to point out I was only wearing the Ultra Commando inside catalog heaven. And I'll have you know, that video was real. Or was it? But anyway, I couldn't find any willing green bow tie owners to let me borrow their green bow tie. So we're gonna do this the old fashioned way, and we're gonna make an outfit using the first limited ever. So there's the green bow tie. Wow. So now, what other green items can I wear? Off. Okay, so switch out my regular clockwork shades or some green ones, that'll work. And of course I could put on the glitched Wenwood top hat, but I don't think that'll work out for me today. This is a hat? Green ski cap? Hold on a minute. Dang. Now I want this hat. But you can only get it for redeeming a card from Target in March 2015? Oh my god. Green glowing eyes, baby. Yeah. Alright, now I need shirts and pants. Oh, the alien backpack. Now that completes the saga. So I got a pet parrot on my shoulder. He's very important. Whoa, I could just mess with my dimensions like this? I'm gonna be a big dude. Big head, big brain, big... Uh, I don't know if this is changing, but I'll just swipe it up. Okay, short and fat. That's how I like them. Wait, like who? Like what? I can just dress as one of my friends? Gee whiz. Alright, I guess I gotta keep the black tuxedo on, but let me give you guys a quick tour of my outfit. So as you can see, I have an alien backpack, a green ski cap, green clockwork shades, green glowing eyes, my green macaw, I'm a column, money bag, yo. Alright, that's not very original, but the main part here is I'm wearing the green bow tie, which is the first limited ever created on Roblox. I'm thirsty. Now I have a force field. Oh, I need a green weapon to finish it off. A balloon, a hoverboard, a gun, and a scythe. And a hammer. Okay. Are all these gear broken? Like, what the heck? Alright, so I'm running around. Why does my character look so stupid running, though, for real? I don't know what's going on here, man. This is trippy. I don't like this. But anyway, the grass is green like my outfit, and my phone just vibrated. And it wasn't very important, so there was no reason for me to look at my phone there. And I think I need to hop on the skateboard and get- I need to kill this person. Damn. They died. Rest in peace. It appears to me that this skateboard is green. So let's skate. He was a skater boy. What? What? What the? 
Why does my character look like this? This is wrong. This should not this should not be like this. This should not be like this at all. Hey. Oh, I died. Oof. Well, I, I guess I guess uh that didn't end too well. Anyway, thanks for watching the video. I hope you guys enjoyed it. And now you know what the first limiteds are on Roblox. And the the second and third or whatever were different colored bow ties. But you know. Have a good day. Smash that like button, which also used to be green, I think. I don't think the like button really has color anymore, but you get what I'm saying. Make And, you know, leave a comment on what your your favorite limiteds are on Roblox. Or if you own any, just anything you'd like to share, you know. Subscribe and hit the bell. And don't get banned forever.